Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Ducks Crochet. So today I want to show how to crochet a quick and easy little stocking to hang over the fireplace or wherever you want to hang it. I chose to do this in a pink color because my little girl wanted it to be pink and of course to be a little bit different. But of course you can do it in any color you like. I have done the stocking and then of course to finish it up I did a little chain of uh, just a few chains. I think I did 15 or so. And then I will just cut it and then pull through. And then I will sew this on so it can hang wherever you want it. I just put a nail in the wall and then I can hang it up. I will show you from the beginning to the end. I will begin on the foot right here and work my way up up here then do the heel and then of course do the rest of the part afterwards i will show you in a slow pace so everyone can follow even if you're a beginner so let's begin first i want to talk a little about the materials for the yarn i've used this honey bunny from hobby it used to be called uh, baby snuggle and you can see the info right here you can see it's a weight six super bulky and this actually calls for a 7mm hook, but I will use a 6mm hook just to get it a little more tight. You can wash it at 40 degrees and yeah, you can see all the other info right here. And I've used a very pink color. I will write in the description how much yarn you will need of each color and of course a link for where you can buy it. And like I mentioned, I used a 6mm hook and then I used some scissors. And finally a tapestry needle. So we begin with a slip knot. Make a loop with your yarn. Take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we chain two. So one, two. And then we do six single crochet into this first chain we did. So you just insert the hook in the first chain and then you single crochet. That's one. So insert the hook in the same chain and single crochet. And we keep single crocheting in the same stitch until we have six in total. So just keep inserting your hook in the first chain you did and do single crochet until you have six in total. That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we continue working in rounds and we will be working in spirals. So we just continue in this first stitch we did. So we will do an increase. So we do two single crochet in the same stitch. So just insert the hook and single crochet. And then insert the hook in the same stitch again and single crochet. And then in the next stitch over here, we increase as well, so two single crochet in the same stitch. That's one and two. And we keep crocheting until we have 12 in total. So we do an increase in every stitch. So two single crochet in the same stitch in each stitch all the way around. And we're working in spirals, so it's not really clear to see when our round begins. So I'm always just counting my stitches. And we need to have 12. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I just did an increase in every stitch. So now we have 12 and want to go up to 18 in the next round. So in the first stitch, I do an increase. So two single crochet in the same stitch. That's one and two. Then in the next stitch, I only do one single crochet. And then two single crochet in the next. And then only one single crochet in the next. And then continue like this until you have 18 stitches all around. So 
So now I have 18 stitches and the next part is that I want to go to 24 stitches. So in the first stitch I do an increase. One, two stitches in the same stitch. And then for the next two stitches I only do one single crochet in each. And then in this third stitch we do an increase. So one single crochet in the next, one single crochet in the next, and then two single crochet in the next. One, two. And then one single crochet in the next, one single crochet in the next, and then two single crochet. And we continue like this until we have 24 stitches in the round. And when we have 24, we want to go to 30 for the next round. And we uh, start with an increase on the first stitch. So two single crochet in the same stitch. And then for the next three stitches, we only do one single crochet in each. So one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two single crochet in the fourth one. And you continue like this until you have 30 stitches around. And now when we have 30 stitches, we have the size of the foot. It will increase a bit more when we keep crocheting, but from now on we will only work one single crochet in every stitch. So you just continue with one single crochet one single crochet, one single crochet around and around in circles and you will keep the size of the foot and work up along the foot in the same size. So just work one single crochet in every stitch in spirals. Continue until you have 15 rounds. So you count from this one as your first, the second, third, fourth and so on until you have 15 rounds in total. When you have that, you chain one and turn. So chain one, turn it, and then you skip your turning chain and move on to the second stitch, this one. You first single crochet, and then you single crochet into this. So just insert the hook and single crochet. And then you do 15 single crochet in total. So that's two. Three, continue until you have 15 stitches. When you have that, you chain one and then you turn. Then you repeat the same thing. You skip your turning chain, move on to the second one and single crochet into this one. And then you single crochet all the way across. So 15 single crochet. That's three. Continue all the way across. And then you chain one and turn. Whoops. Chain one and turn. Then you work your way back and forth with 15 stitches. Then you chain one and turn. And remember skipping your turning chain. Just work your way back and forth. Until you have 12 rows in total. Then you begin the 13th row. And then you only single crochet seven on the 13th row. And then we want to close up the slipper. So if you turn it this way, it turns the right way. But we want to make a seam on the inside. So you turn it like this. And then you want to make a seam of slip stitches on the bottom of the slipper. So you force them to sit right uh, on top of each other and then you make a slip stitch all the way through the layers so you just insert the hook through both layers then you grab the yarn pull through pull through and then continue all the way down with a slip stitch through both layers just force in the hook through both layers and slip stitch and another slip stitch. And 
And the final one. A slip stitch in the last one. And that's it. So now we fold it like this. And we closed up the heel. Now we want to do a row of a single crochet all the way around. So we start with a chain one just to get started. And then you work one single crochet in each row down here. You see this is a row and this is a row. You see all the rows here. So you just insert the hook, push it in, just force it and single crochet. And then the next row, just single crochet. And then you just continue all the way around. Of course, up here, you just single crochet in the regular stitches, but all the way around. When you make it all the way around, you just continue in spirals. So you will just, when you make it over here, just continue in these stitches. So you just work single crochet in spirals all the way up the angle. So I continued until I had 21 rows in total and you can see it's a little bit broad up here compared to a real sock, but that's okay. That's supposed to be presents in it. Now I want to switch to the white color yarn. So I will just grab the white yarn and then continue crocheting with this one. So just insert the hook in the next stitch, grab the white yarn Pull through, whoops, yarn over, pull through. So we just continue single crocheting with the white yarn as nothing happened. And you see this very ugly color change. Don't worry about that. We will cover it up when we fold the white part down. So this is the easiest way to do it and you will cover it up. So no worries. Just continue working in spirals with the white yarn until you have 13 rows with the white yarn. Then we will finish it up and we finish uh, on a single crochet and then we have this little bump until the edge right here. So I finish with three slip stitches. So just insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through. Yarn over, pull through, pull through, and another slip stitch, and that's it. So now the bump isn't that uh, big. So now you can cut the yarn. And pull the hook through. And weave in your end. And this end. Usually we weave in on the inside of the things we are crocheting, but in this case I will weave the end in on the outside of the stocking. Because we will fold this white part down and then the outside of the sock will be the inside. So if we weave in on the inside, it might show. But in this yarn, it's not a problem because it's not clear to see at all. You can see it's almost invisible. So that's it. Now we can fold it down this and you decide how much you want it folded. And oh my god, it's so cute. I love it. So if you found this tutorial easy to follow, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.